You mean to tell me the 1975 have released a punk rock track? Sounds like something only a reviewer can fulfill. Ayo, 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 review family, keep it, I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morris, the review guy, and I'm back again to bring you another video. Welcome back to my series, Track Review, the series in which I review tracks, tracks that are causing headway that I think are really good or really bad or something that I have something to say about. That was a convoluted mess. Anyway, in this one, I'm going to be talking about the new 1975 track entitled People. It's just People. The 1975 English pop rock band, electro pop band, indie rock band, whatever you want to call them, coming off of the major acclaim and hype from their previous record they dropped last year, A Brief Inquiry into Online Relationships, a record that I really, really liked. Yes, maybe there were just a couple of tracks that I wasn't that big of a fan of, and I couldn't necessarily find a place to put it on my in-year list, but it was a very solid, solid release from the band. It was reaching into almost an hour's worth of material, and it features some really great production, and the main thing was the strong songwriting that tied it all together, linked it very nicely. The sequel to this record, Notes on a Conditional Form, is dropping February 21st, 2020. They release the introduction track, which is self-titled The 1975. It was spoken by the political activist Greta Thunberg. Hey Julian, it's me, Julian from the future. She's a climate activist, not a political activist. You dummy! Don't worry, I'm just doing God's work. It was backed by this ambient instrumentation, but it was just a rebellious track, a very protest type track. Very powerful, even though it is fairly long. It doesn't get tedious because of the message. And here we have People, 2 minutes and 40 seconds, and it is shorter than anything that was on their previous record, save for the opening track. And this is a completely stylistic difference for the band. Needless to say, this is basically a straight up punk rock song. It's a punk rock song. Allow me to rephrase that. It's a punk rock song! Maddie has some gut-wrenching screams near the latter half, and all of his vocals are delivered with a lot of aggression and power to them, and soaked in this distortion effect. A lot of the way these riffs function and the way the drums function on this track remind me a lot of the early to mid-2000s punk rock that dominated alongside the new metal movement as well as the emo movement. Not to mention, considering emo was somewhat derived from some punk semblances, this track even has a lot of semblances that remind me a little bit of the 2000s emo movement with how some of the riffs and the drum patterns are, as well as Maddie's expressive type of vocal delivery. And don't even get me started on the lyricism. Even though this track is clearly assembled in a way that is logical and cohesive, this ends up sounding somewhat like an incoherent madman rambling about topical issues but it is constructed pretty well. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's Monday morning and we've only got a thousand of them left. Well, I know it feels pointless and you don't have any money, but we're all just gonna try our fucking best. Well, my generation wanna fuck Barack Obama living in a sauna with legal marijuana. <laughs> Just stuffing so many topical issues and so many different commentaries on the world we live in into this short track, which almost makes me wish it was longer and not so compact. Obviously, as is, it's a nice track on its own merit. It's just it feels like if they would have spaced it out a little bit, they could have been more cohesive with some of the way these lyrics came across. Because some of them are delivered in just this powerfully blunt. You have to respect how in your face some of this lyrical delivery is, especially with the vocals, especially near the latter half when he's just screaming his brains out. Kind of like that opening track that they released with Greta Thunberg, this is basically a protest song, a rebellion song with a very clear-cut punk influence and punk rage to it. That rebellious nature is just in there in spades. I mean, I don't have enough good to say about this record. It's strong from start to finish. It has that punk rock ethos, and despite the fact this is a genre, this is a style, that while 1975 have maybe somewhat played around with some of the influences in some passages or some vocal melodies, Never to this degree. And this isn't just a band that is experimenting with something new and this is a direction they're going to go in more and they're just kind of testing the waters with this single. This is a well-constructed punk track from a band that I wouldn't have guessed would have been able to do this style good. 
I mean, it has a very bombastic production style to it. I really like what they did with Maddie's vocals, and I guess if there's one more thing I should say, um, I think it also has a definitive British punk rock influence. Not necessarily olden punk rock, but I'd say newer contemporary British punk rock bands with that bombastic production and that bombastic performance. Not saying older bands didn't have that. They definitely were raw. I'm saying the opposite. On the contrary, this isn't necessarily super raw. Maybe in the delivery of the lyrics and the vocals, but production-wise, it's fairly sanitary. It's very intelligible. It's not super chaotic and havoc-inducing, which I think works in its favor. This track is going to be in the description below. I highly suggest you go check it out because I think this is a new step in a different direction that I'm very curious to see if this is what they're going to follow on their new record. You stay for the end screen. I'll link some videos you might be interested in. If you like this video, I will love you forever. <laughs> It'll help me out a lot. Subscribe to join the review family today. We'd love to have you here and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. My name is Jay Morris, the review guy, and I'm signing off saying fair well.